give up, like, given the current situation, we have to just give up what we wanted. Yeah. Like, and you put so much energy and time and effort and thought and everything into this perfect, not even a perfect situation, just like the ideal situation. Mm -hmm. And I totally would be like, a part of me would want to be like, well, well, F it. Like, this is all F now, so like, let's just throw it all away. And like, that's the thing we have to avoid. Mm -hmm. Like, we're in a new situation, and we're gonna do the best we can together, and you're gonna be fu fucking strong, but it's not gonna be like what you planned yeah. at all. I know. I know that the sensations are not going to be as they would if I was not induced. See, but that's what I would say, is you just gotta give that up. So I don't want to hold myself to the same standard. Yeah. Because... Don't worry about it. You're going to do your best. Yeah. You're the, you're the best. You're strong. There's no one in the whole wide world who's going to do better. Thanks, but man. it's not going to be what, what you thought. So yeah. just give it up. Like, you love yourself. <laughs> I love you. You're going to do your best. And it's like, like I already know that you... like I, I can't even fathom how much time and energy and attention and effort you put into this and now like but this is great we have a few hours because you gotta like have a burial for those feelings yeah you agree yeah and like you gotta you can't hold on to or resent like you can't compare to what it could have been you can't think about it like literally i'm happy with all our choices i think you are too and now like we're in the situation mm -hmm. And it's time to do the very best you can moving forward. Yeah. Okay. Do you agree? Yeah. I'm not going to put too much pressure on myself. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. Just do your best. Okay. So it's like a, it's a hard thing. Like, I, I can empathize only to a point because it's so much deeper than anything I've ever gone through. Yeah. But like, if I were to compare it to things that I've gone through, like, I, I would like just really really like because you're not gonna be able to fucking have your serenity You're not gonna be able to be in tune with your body And that's okay though. You got to be okay with it because it's not gonna happen See and it's okay like he's gonna come out freaking happy and healthy and we're gonna freaking crush it like we always do mm -hmm. And so like don't even you did the best you could Yeah, it's I'm like I'm not even you know how much I wanted a natural birth mm -hmm. And that, like how strongly I feel about it and yeah. But I, I'm over it, dude. We did our best. Now I'm excited for him to come out. Yeah, me too. And so just like freaking do your best, and you know what your best is, and I'll support you. And we're gonna, we're just, we're gonna do our best. Okay. I'm gonna have a baby by tomorrow. Yeah, I know. I'm, just, I'm, I'm gonna have a meltdown in the next few hours. <laughs> I'm I'll having a meltdown I'll now. I'll do it privately. <laughs> I have the urge to start nesting harder than I've ever yeah, nested that's, that's in my what life. I'm reading this morning. That might happen. <laughs> I'm down to start messing actually. You want me to get all these boxes in? Yeah. Alright, let's start. Let's just take an hour. Yeah. One hour. Get everything ready? Yeah. Okay. Deal. Hey there. Hey. So I just did, I did side lying for, and then I got up and went to the bathroom. I was having contractions the whole time I was doing the side lining. I went to the bathroom and I'm bleeding. I'm bleeding now. Okay, you need to go to the hospital. Okay. Is it like a lot? Not a ton. It's, I don't know, I was laying down for so long, I literally just barely stood up, and when I wiped, it was all pink, and there's some in the toilet. Oh, well, so that could just be like, okay, and that's just normal bloody show. Okay. That's just a little sign of like cervical change, and that's normal too from having like a cervical check. Yeah. If it's a little bit light pink, if it's like red and filling your panties or filling like a cup in an hour or like gushing then and you feel like lack of fetal movement then that would be concerning okay but there was it was like dripping into the toilet though like a f like some drops and i am having well, a lot of we're heading there now contractions anyways. but i'm going there anyways okay that's fine you're going where you need to be okay your water might have ruptures leaking that could be what it is. Do you feel like different? Do you feel like your contractions a little differently? Yeah. yeah. Like so they'll probably really do like, like an low contractions. Good. Um, and in my back. Yeah. Are you having one? Big breath. Yeah. Oh, 
And all the way out. Just release and relax from the top of your head all the way down your back. Relaxing your jaw. Good. Relaxing your shoulders. Um, so, oh my gosh, I timed two contractions and my app just said you are in active labor, conditions have been met, less than five minutes apart for one minute and 20 seconds each. Nice. That might not be the case, because I wouldn't look here. It has told, on averages. it has told me that three times this week. I know, but I was going to say, let's hope that that's what's going on, or at least you're getting close to that. Either way, it's, I guess, time to just go. Yes, well, and the good thing, though, is is that, like, if you're having a little bit of that, like, bloody show, that's a good sign that you're starting to see some more cervical change. Okay. So it could be from the cervical exam. It could also be just because baby's fingers are there and irritating things. Yeah. If you're having more contractions and you're seeing it, that's a good sign. So okay. So that's what we want, and that just means that once you get there, if they give you the little bit of augmentation, that'll put things in the right direction. Alrighty. I'll see you soon. Call me when you get there. If you need anything, or you can text me when you get there. But okay. if you need anything, please call me. Okay. Thank you. Okay, and then as soon as you get into a room, I'll come up and get you settled in. Thank you so much. Okay. You're welcome. I'll see you soon. Okay. Bye. Bye. You have I think so. I'm like, is this the last time I'm leaving my room without a baby? Dude. It's the last time we're doing anything without a baby. I know. Everything's about to change. Oh my god. How do you feel? Uncomfortable. I mean, about the situation. I'm excited. <laughs> I love you more than anything. I love before. you. I met Mama Kate. Yeah, I'm Mama Kate now. Mama Kate. I love you. Love you. You know, I was pretty anti-push present until like the last 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Thinking about something nice to get me? I'm honestly going to send some DMs out. Some Ask for some ideas? ideas. Yeah. Send Brian your ideas. Yeah, send me some push present ideas. <laughs> We are about to leave for the hospital. Brian can't find his wallet. Um, just wanted to fill you guys in. I don't even know if, for sure if I'm in labor. However, this morning I went to the- Look, we have a surprise. Oh. What? Oh, she's here! My mom's here! I'll come give you a hug. I love you, love you. So I'll just wait for you to let me know when it's a good time. To come in, like, once they, like, got you settled in the room or something. Yeah. Jeez. Mm -hmm. I'm having a lot of contractions, and I started bleeding a little just a few minutes ago. She's going into labor. It's going to happen anyway. I know. So that's how strong her mind is. Yeah. Sorry, I kind of got cut off because my mom just got to my house. She drove her from Arizona. So I went to the doctor this morning. Um, I talked about this in my last vlog, but... This is the birth vlog, so I'll fill you in. I went to the doctor this morning. I'm 40 weeks and five days. I really didn't want to be induced. I really wanted to have an unmedicated birth this whole time. I've been doing everything I can to go into labor naturally. I've been meditating for months. I've been preparing for this. But this morning, I went to my OB. We did a cervical check, and she felt his fingers. Like, her fingers and his fingers were like that. And she's like, so his hand is on top of his head. And this is not ideal because we don't want him to be born hand first. Also, it's blocking his head from being able to descend and push into your cervix. So that's why you're not going into full labor. I've been having all this padromal labor for weeks where I have like pretty intense contractions for like two hours and then it will stop and it's really uncomfortable. I hate drinking on this. Ed won't press down into my cervix because he's blocking the exit. He's literally like this. And so that's why I'm not dilating. But my cervix is very... Can you please put your seatbelt on? Sorry, sorry. But my cervix is very effaced. It's like super soft, stretchy. Like if his head was there, I would be dilating. He says that she really, really, really suggests inducing because if my water breaks at home and then he starts coming out hand first or his cord prolapse and starts coming out, that needs immediate medical attention, more dangerous. And so she'd rather me be at the hospital and induce me. And hopefully when I start having the more intense contractions from the induction, it will move him. So usually during like active labor, 
babies move into a more favorable position and hopefully he will like pull his hand down. If he doesn't pull his hand down, there is a chance I would need a C-section. But we're just gonna put the vibes out that he's gonna move his damn he's hand. He's gonna move his hand. We're gonna put the vibes out. So that was this morning. And then we talked to our doula to finish that story and she was very convinced that he's most likely gonna move his hand. Yeah. She supported whatever we wanted. Yeah, she said it's, that they do deliver babies like that and they deliver even breech babies at home, but it is an indication. Like if his hand's really like hand first. Yeah, she's like, it's not ideal. And it's probably best to just induce. And so we had a really good talk, productive. Yeah. And we both decided, induce. So, um, then we started preparing things and I started having more intense contractions like in my back and like really bad like period cramp feeling and I started timing them and my app actually said that I was in labor. <laughs> so I might be going into labor anyways, I don't know because this kind of weird stuff has been happening to me for a yeah, couple weeks. Yeah, you've been weeks. faked out a bunch of times. But either way, I'm kind of getting induced. It's time. It's just time. I think that your mind is so powerful that you put yourself into labor. Maybe. My original birth plan <laughs> was to labor at home until I'm like seven centimeters and like meditate and take a bath and only show up when it's time to push. That's definitely not how it's going to go. Out the window. Out the window, but um, I'm still going to try to make it, you know, it's going to be beautiful no matter what. You're just going to do your best. You're freaking just strong, gonna man. I'm just going to do my best. You are strong. Thanks, baby. Have this baby. Get, let's get her to this baby <laughs> or whatever. Jesus. We get admitted for delivery, whether that's today or whenever. I'll go over our photo policy, which is basically if we tell you to stop taking photos and stuff. Fair no, enough. Right, you're good. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, Sounds he strong. Looks good. Yeah, so far he looks good. So we'll give it a little more time. You were to like pinpoint a rough time frame when the contractions shifted from the prodromal to what felt more different. When would you say that shift was happening? Four hours, four three hours, hours, four hours. I don't know. We don't really know. We're first time parents. <laughs> well, I've been having contractions for like literally months, yeah. so I tune it out. Yeah. But it, I, they, like, I was timing them, and it was like you're in active labor. Go to the hospital. For the for the frequency. Yeah. yeah. yeah and the duration, and okay. they feel different. They feel like period cramps, like a deep, like mm -hmm. from back to front. Yeah. Not just like all the way across tight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Mama Kate. Hey. Maybe cover up a little more. You're showing a little hot skin. We don't want this to get demonetized. This is going to be a lot of that. Actually, it's been like every... Two to four two minutes. To four They've been strong now. I'm at a two now. This morning I was Two centimeters two. dilated. Yeah. Feeling physically and emotionally. Um, physically pain. Yeah. Oh, I think another contraction. No way. Started. Yeah. Yeah. You're strong, baby Kate. All right. So the update is. Caitlin's water broke and she's having contractions. Very strong and very close together. So Every time I have a contraction, I thought I was peeing myself, so I'm wearing a diaper. But they just <laughs> tested my diaper when I changed it and it's amniotic fluid, so I guess I'm not peeing myself. Things are progressing. Things are, I'm so confused right now. Back, the back contractions are like not stopping them. Yeah. He's giving you no rest. He's coming soon. Alright guys. So we're set up in the hospital room. I've been told to give an update. Anyways, so we have all this nice thing set up. Like the hatch rest. Playing some white noise and some nice red light. Another contraction. I've also got the diffuser over here. I've got my energy drink. The contractions are about a minute and a half. 
but only like two minutes in between, which is very strange. She's not really getting a break, which is tough. She's supposedly only two centimeters dilated, but she's getting like no time in between, so we don't really understand it. But she's toughing through it and doing great, and we'll keep you updated. Exciting update. We're now on the exercise ball. We're doing some hip squeezes during contractions. Got some ice chips. Any other updates? My contractions are still really close together. I'm strong. No breaks. No breaks. You look sort of comfortable. This position's better. Our plan was to do all kinds of positions. Well, we still will. You and Emily are supposed to tell me because I can't be in charge of being like, I want to do this position. Like, okay. I don't know what I'm, what will help. Okay. Well, I can do my best to suggest some things. I know she said the toilet, a lot of people really like the toilet. Yeah. Or, remember we went through them all leaning over like on a banister? That one was great. But I think for now this is great. Okay. Maybe we can do the bit leaning over next, okay? Imagine there's this much fluid in there. Yeah, it just comes and comes. Just it comes doesn't stop. It just, even when you deliver, there's a whole bunch more that comes out. Mm. Good times. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Some more time on the bowl. Just like laying over with your head laying down. Can you scoot the ball in, Mom? You know, more pillows? Yeah. Alright, I'll give you mine. Any medical problems I need to be aware of? Um, no. Allergies to any medication? No. Have you had epidurals for any reason in the past? No. So I got the epidural, guys. <laughs> I literally did not get a break from contractions for how many hours? Four or five? Uh, six. Six. Yeah. Six hours. They were all in my like in my back and in between. Like it wouldn't even. I wouldn't even really get a break from my back. Like I was having back labor. Really fine with this decision. I'm already feeling yeah a lot better. Hopefully we get a little bit of sleep now before pushing time. 
I'm starting to feel loss of sensation in my legs, so it's definitely uh, get in there. It wasn't bad to get the epidural. That part wasn't really that bad. Just the first pinch where he puts in the numbing. Mm -hmm. But I've experienced that a lot because I've gotten work done on my face. <laughs> that th when I got threads in my face and she injected lidocaine first, like that was honestly worse than getting the epidural. Tired. We need to do an update. She's great too. Yeah, I really like this nurse. Well, <laughs> kind of rested for like five hours or more, uh, six. Five minutes for me. Seven thirty in the morning. So I've been here almost twelve hours now. That's crazy. It went by fast. Yeah. Well, I was only at five centimeters because, like, I still had a bag of waters, which is weird because my water did break and they tested it for amniotic fluid and I was, like, gushing. But I guess there's two layers to an amniotic sac, which I had heard before. And my doctor came and we ruptured the second one. So now I should progress faster. But I'm pretty chilling right now. <laughs> How are you doing? Tired? Alright, but I'll get back in the game. We can't rule out the fact that you were just peeing yourself and they may want to make you feel better. I told better. them I was peeing. I was like, no, it's pee. It's pee. Just kidding. Just kidding. They're like, girl, it's not they pee. They tested it. They tested it. They're just like, God, this girl feels so bad about pissing herself over and over. <laughs> just ready to get a nine pounder out. Let's hope he's like, they were wrong. I'm gonna catch a nine pounder. You're gonna catch him? Oh, with a hook? <laughs> Helps. Breathing helps my shaking. I'm so yeah. shaky. It's scary to watch you shake. What's the update, Mama Kate? We're at 10, 10 centimeters. centimeters. Yay! Almost time to start pushing. Waiting for the doctor to get here. But, uh, he can just keep descending on his own. And I'll just push a few times. I'll fire it out, right? <laughs> I am feeling some pressure. A little bit. Good. That's what we want. Deep breath in. Grab those legs back. And then... <laughs> She spared us all. Oh, yeah. so thoughtful. Huh? Come on. Good job, Mama. That's the way, Caitlin. Good job. Add to that. Add to that. Yep. That's job. the way. That's the push. Breathe. And again. Good. Good job, Caitlin. Same push again. Go, go. Good, 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 good. Add to that. Nice deep breath. Fill the lungs and push. Yep, 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 yep. Go, 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 go. You're so close. Nice job. Chicken, honey, you got a strong one right now. Nice. Go ahead. Hard, 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 h
And right back at it. Go. Keep going, Mama. Right through that. Keep going, keep going, keep going, Caitlin. Add to that. That's the way. Add to that. Add to that. Add to that. Push your fingers out. Good job. Give me another one. Take a breath, hold it, and push. Go, 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 Mama. You got this. Add to that. <laughs> yep, and he's like, I heard you, lady. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> this entire time. I can't wish for which I have too long. Am I in a good position? I know not about it. I'm not trying. Yeah, but he's really that bad. He's not that bad, but he's getting there, so. Uh, good. Go, yes, go, yes, go, yes, it's coming up. Keep going, keep going, keep going. You got this. He's coming. Oh my gosh, he's coming. Hard, 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 hard. Good job. Yes. Keep pushing. Keep, keep going, pushing. Keep going. Add to that, yes. Take a breath. Take a breath. Right back at it. Yes. Go, 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 go. Come on. Yes. You got job. this. You can do it. You can do it. Keep going. Keep going. He's coming out. <laughs> he got this. He's up to his eyebrows, man. He's up to his eyebrows. Keep going. Just a little more. We're going to have a hand next to his head. Just a little more. Go, 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 go. That's the way. Update. We're here with our boy. He's two days old. Want to say hi to the vlog? Hi. Cuter by the day. He had a little jaundice. We had to stay an extra night, but we're both doing good now. Now to here. We're about to get out of here. We're doing the paperwork, and then we're gonna bring him home. How are you doing, Dad? Hanging in there. Look at his hair. So much hair. What a boy. Boy of the year. Boy of the year. Alright, I'm gonna pack. Okay, let's get out of this place. Say hello, YouTube family. Hi. My name is Canyon. My name is Canyon Paul. Bless you. And I'm so excited to meet you, world. I was born December 21st, 2022. At 12.43 p.m., I weighed 6 pounds and 15 ounces. They said I was going to be 8 or 9 pounds, but they were a little wrong. And mommy was told she had to be induced. But when we got to the hospital, 
I was already on my way out. <laughs> and now I'm going home. Baby He's boy. pretty perfect. He's pretty perfect. He's he got a nine. Yeah. Oh, we didn't tell the whole. He's a star. Apgar score nine. They never give out nine. They never Bas give out higher than a nine. Basically a ten. He's a ten out of ten. But we already knew that. He passed his first test. Aced it. The prince arrives at his carriage. Let's see if we, we can loosen the straps or. Dude, if you know how much this thing costs, you would not be crying. There's something wrong with the car seat. It can't be him. He's perfect. Got him in. We had to watch a few YouTube videos. But he's in. And he loves it. Wait till you see the nursery. We did not bring enough blankets with us. We dirtied like th like three of our own swaddles that we brought in two days. We we're here longer than long. we thought because of the jaundice. I'm going to tell all the nurses to make sure that they take a good look because one day they're going to be able to say they saw him in person when he's famous. Yeah, she's getting it ready. She's getting it warmed up. I think you have to come a little more towards you. There you go. Got it, Dad. Locked in. We're going home. Exciting. We have our child in the car. Yeah. Life's so safe. <laughs> That's what everyone says. They're like, I've never driven slower yeah. in my life than on the way home from the hospital. Yeah. Get in the car.